Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashton, if you didn't already know. Also known as Sashton because I'm sassy. If you didn't know that either. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a lot of compliments from all of your Instagram followers. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm gonna show you how to do these um, beach waves. I started doing this look and I've been getting loads of compliments. And the thing is like people aren't even complimenting me on my hair, um, but they've just been complimenting me on how I look. Like I've done this hair in the last few selfies and I've gotten several people who are like, girl, you look stunning. I don't know what it is, but this picture looks really, really good. And they're like, not to offend you, you look good in your other pictures too, but you look really good in this one. And it's like, people don't know what's different. And I think it's the hair, because I haven't, this is like the first time I've ever really worn my hair like in these like beachy kind of waves. Um, and another little secret is the part. My part is different. Instead of parting my hair like on the side, I did this little center part and it's throwing people off in a good way. But if you do wanna know how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. See you in a second. <laughs> okay, so I've been doing my hair like this recently and I've been getting loads of compliments ever since I've started doing this. There's two things that I started doing. One, parting my hair differently and two, curling it differently. So the first thing I'm gonna do is part my hair. And I feel like this has to be like part of the reason why I've been getting so many compliments because like I haven't really been doing anything else different. So I don't do like exact center part, but I do more of a center part than normal. So I just take this little comb and so like center would be like here. So I just do it like a little bit over. So it's not directly in the center. And then, okay, kind of like that. And then I'm gonna show you how I have been doing my beachy waves because I've been doing it differently than normal. So the, tool, the two things I'm gonna be using is a wand, and this is probably like an inch um, wide. And then I'm gonna use my flat iron. So I'm going to use this first. I'm going to do the flat iron last. So obviously I look like a weirdo right now with just this, you know, butt cut, as my husband likes to call it. But I'm going to show you how we're gonna look extra sassy, okay? So um, usually I'll start off with this side of my head for some reason. So I just split it down the middle in the back and then I'll just pull this hair over to the side and then um, I'll start with this side. And I like to work in sections. So I'll kind of just grab, oh, it's all tangled. <laughs> Brush that out. Um, so maybe like that much. And so then I'll take this section and just kind of twist it and clip it out of the way because it's just easier when you work with less hair. If you have thinner hair, you don't have to worry about this, but I have a lot of hair, so. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair and let me scoot back a little bit. So I'm just going to take a section maybe this thick it's kind of tingly so i'm going to take my wand and hold it upside down like this behind my head and so the key is to wrap it around but not all the way at the end i'm sure you've seen this technique done a million times if you watch youtube like i do but um so even if you have short hair you can do this hairstyle just 
um, however long your hair is, you wrap it around as many times as you can and then leave a good two inches off. And then when you let it go, you have like a nice little wave and I'm just gonna toss it in the back. And then another trick is to um, do alternating curls. So the first time I went behind the hair, this time I'm gonna go in front of the hair, twist it around, twist it around, hold it, have it about two inches out. I usually hold it for like 10 seconds, toss it back. And I can toss it back because my other half of my hair is pulled over in this little ponytail. So I like to alternate every every other curl. So I went in front of the hair the first, that time, so now I'm gonna go behind the hair and hold it. And let it go. And of course, like every time you do it, you don't have to do it the same every single time. Like that curl I just did, um, I left more out at the bottom than the other two. So you can even do like, this one I can do more at the bottom. And then this next one I can do less at the bottom. And that kind of makes it look more of like a natural beachy wave because they're not all the same. So I'm leaving more out at the bottom this time. Okay. And then when I get to the front, even if the last one I did was away from my face, I'll always do the one closest to my face away. And this chunk is like bigger than the other chunks that I did. Chunks, that's kind of a gross word. But this, I don't know what else to call it. This group of hair, <laughs> this um, section of hair was thicker than the other. Okay, so this is kind of how it looks right now. And it, I promise you, by the end it looks it just looks so good so i'm going to do the rest of this side but i know a lot of people get confused when trying to curl their hair so that's the easiest tip i can give you so like when you're working on this side of your head just take like literally put the iron behind the hair and this is like a lot easier if your hair is longer if your hair is shorter it is a little bit trickier to do, but it's still the same like concept. So when you um, decide to curl your hair, you can come back to this video and it should be pretty easy because you know you just take your straight, your curler, lift it up, and if you want the curl to go toward your face, you put the iron in front of the hair. And then if you want the curl to go away from your face, you put the curler behind your hair. And if you forget um, which, which way you went, it doesn't matter because you're alternating um, for the most part. Even if you forget one or two times, it's not going to like ruin the hairstyle. And you don't even have to hold it as long as I do. My hair is just thick and I know it takes a little bit longer to curl. So, hold that back.
in the front. I did have my hair curled before this, so I just brushed it out to do the video. Last piece. cute and then I'm gonna show you the bangs at the end I'm gonna go ahead and curl the side of my head and then show you what I do at the end okay so now that my curls are all done this is how the waves look very I feel like they, they look very beachy <coughs> And I really think what makes them look like that is the straight ends. So it's like, has that one little kink in it, depending on how long your hair is. Mine has a few little kinks, but it just looks so good. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what to do with your little bangs or your little front pieces. If you don't have bangs, then you don't have to worry about this part. But if you do have like little front layers that you don't necessarily want to curl, then you can try this out. So I'm going to let that heat up and um, show you what to do once it's a little bit warmer. I've been um, using self tanner and it makes my teeth look really white. <laughs> heats up pretty fast okay so I'm gonna take my little front bits that are too short to like really curl with a curling iron or a wand so I take them and take my straightener and so I'm, I'm going to take it turn it this way grab it and twist my hair back. And I know it looks crazy right now, but don't worry, um, the, it'll fall some, because it looks like 80s wings. Okay, so then take your other little wispy bangs, take your straightener, and just kinda pull them back. Okay, like I said, they look crazy. But while they're hot, kind of just pull them down so they're not so crazy. Okay. But it does help the look. And if you get them too curly, don't worry. You can always kind of straighten them out a little bit. I like that. Okay. So, now I'm going to take my uh, hairspray. <laughs> And just, and I like to hold my hair out like that and spray it so that it's more big and vol voluminous. Is that right? Voluminous? That doesn't, why does that sound wrong? Whatever. Next side. Okay. So that is the final look and I promise 
you will get tons of compliments and all you did was split your hair down the middle and do some freaking beach waves and there you go. Everyone loves you now. I promise. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I'm really loving this look. I was thinking about cutting my hair and now that I've, like, kind of discovered this new, like, mermaid, like, hairdo, I've kind of, um, decided that I don't want to cut it anymore. Not right now. Maybe, um, I'll get bored of this eventually, and I'm sure I will. But right now, I'm loving it, and so is everyone else, apparently. So, thanks to everyone who's been complimenting me and making my head really big and making me make this YouTube video. So, if you want compliments, do this look. Yeah, thanks for watching my video. Um, comment below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!